Are you ready? I'm so ready. I'm ready. We're ready? I'm so ready. Yeah. Big, big ready energy. Yeah, oh, ooh. B R E. Not B D E. But I, if I were a guy, it would be B D E all day. I mean, women can still have B D E. Or is it B P E? No, oh. it's, it's B C E. It's B. Uh, B- <laughs> Yo, you wildin' right now. That's how we started off. Is that the end of the video? Is that what we started off with? What's up, you guys? It is your girl, Kayla Shay, and I am here with the one and only Justin Sky. How you doing, my guy? I'm, doing, uh, I'm feeling elevated. I'm feeling amazing. I'm excited. It's time. I'm excited. Listen. Listen. The team reached out. I reached out back, and I was like, "Bring his ass up in here. We gonna get this interview." <laughs> <laughs> I love it. We had to. We had to. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, my name is Justin Sky. I am an innovator, a creator, a musician, um, a visual artist, filmmaker. Anything that has to do with making something, I'm in there with it. Um, I am goofy as hell. But you gotta just. This is why it came out. See, this the only why. way, the only way that Kayla is shade, the goofy side comes out, is when I get this energy. Exactly. Boom. Hey, come on now. That's, that's that's where we at with it. Yeah, but I'm uh I'm uh I'm hype, man. I'm I'm so excited. We, we gonna get into it though. We gonna get into it, the interview. Yeah, we gonna get in there. So. Yeah. Tell me where are you from? I was born in Athens, Greece. And then uh, when I was young, my family moved to Southern California, like IE area. And uh, that's where I was raised. I've been in LA for like 10 years now. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really from Area 51. You heard of Area 51? Who hasn't? Yeah, that's, that's where they found me, really. <laughs> and uh, my parents, like, were they, they found me just outside of Area 51, and like, I was like glowing. And they were like, we gotta take this baby home. We gotta figure out what's going on. You are an alien. I don't know for sure, but I'm just saying I'm not human. That, you know what I'm saying? So. So, so, so tell me, you're kind of like um, cousins with Little Wayne, cause I'm you not a human being. I told him when I met Lil Wayne, I was like, Wayne, you should use "I am not a human being." He was like, "Oh, bad." You were the creator. <laughs> you were the creator. <laughs> no, I'm playing. Wayne, holla at me though. We could do. You, we, we could, you know. Collaboration coming through. <laughs> nah, yeah, but no. Speaking into existence. Always, always. No, for real, that's gonna happen. But tell me, what inspired you to create music? Um, you got my British accent coming up. Sorry. I do. I do like your. Bit. Oh, you, we should do. Th- we should do the whole interview like this. They gotta. They gotta hear the real. T- I got y'all. Give me like five more minutes, and we gonna get into the British accent. Um, I got a mean French one too. But anyway, um, ladies. Um, uh, anyway, um, <laughs> music videos actually inspired me to do music. Um, yeah, my dad was a musician, is a musician. He teaches music as well. Um, but like, I never, early on, I never really thought music could be like a career until I got older and realized like, oh no, this is a thing. I used to, you know, freestyle rap, you know, at, in high school, back with the homies and do all that. And they used to always say, oh, Justin, you should join these competitions. And I joined a freestyle competition one time and I won. It was the first one I ever did. Um, and then after that, my homie was like, yo, let's go in the studio. Let's just do like a a mixtape or whatever. So we went in his garage and like one day we knocked out like seven tracks. We threw it up online and then this dude heard it overseas somehow and was like, yo, well, I want you to come perform at my festival. And I was like, is this real? Where was this at? In Portugal, actually. You went to Portugal yeah, and I you- did. I did, yeah, performed two years in a row at the <laughs> festival there. And I was like, there's something to this thing, this, this passion that I, I've already had. I've been making music mm-hmm. since I was young, but I never really thought it would, could be a thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, you know, watching how the way music affects me while I'm watching movies or watching the way music affects me when we was at church mm-hmm. and watching the way music affects people like, you know, on, in concerts, on TV, music videos. I was like, this is a way to this is a way to touch people. And I have a gift here. Why not, you know, go all the way in? And once I started making music, um, like for real, for real, I was like, I don't want to do anything else for the rest of my life. This is. Let me not say I don't want to do anything else, but I don't ever want to not do music for the rest of my life. Okay. And like, yeah, the rest is history. That's freaking awesome. Or yeah, the rest is future. Ooh, he coming up. It is. Oh, we making tracks already now. I feel it. I feel it. What is that song?
Which is one? it called I Feel It? Is it by Ka- Calvin Harris? Whatever. Oh, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Girl, you you do interviewing, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, we in we in, you. I got the music. You got the interview. <laughs> we gonna do it like that. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so and then okay, so we talked about how the influence on music. Let's talk about you and film. How did that come about? I've always loved movies since I was a kid. I'd watch movies over and over and over and over, and like I like my homies, uh, my homie, my homegirl. She actually teased me all the time, my best friend, because I'll watch a movie and then I'll remember the lines after the first time I seen it, and like I like I've always had a huge passion for film, and um, and so I was like I th- I need to make I need to to you know follow this and look see what's up into that, and so music and film kind of like are married to me. Um, so it was natural. I, you know, I actually studied film when I went to college. I mean, I dropped out, but I learned a lot. Um, uh, shout out to Kanye, college dropout. Um, also, holla at me, yay, because we got some work to do. Um, but no, nah, um, yeah, so it's like that, that passion was always there since I was a kid. So it was an easy transition, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm a very youthful spirit as it is, you know what I'm saying? So the things that I, I loved when I was a kid, I'm doing now. You know what I mean? Um, I used to want to be an astronaut when I was a kid. And so now I'm just like traveling through space through my music. And you know what I'm saying? So that's how I look at it. But yeah, the film thing, it was it was never not going to happen. Um, my favorite filmmakers, I would, I would watch and see what they do and then um, try to do my version of that in my music videos and stuff like that. So, so you direct and create edit your own music videos yeah yeah I, I collaborate with people at times but mostly yeah i edit a lot of my stuff i direct at least co-direct most of my stuff um like the last six that i did i've co-directed or directed the whole thing and some some of them i do even shot and edit and direct so your whatever. own music video you shot your own music video yeah, i set up the camera and i just shot it or like i asked my homegirl like can you hold this and so yeah we just you know I'm one man show. Yes. You all you need. Yeah, I, I am all I am all I need. I am a one man show. However, mm-hmm. I don't want to be a one man show. So I do have like a team of people that I like reach out to and people that I work with because I love to collaborate. But I'm of the mind where it's like whatever it takes to get the job done. Mm. So if that means I need to edit it, then I'll edit it. Yeah. If we can afford an editor, we'll pay an editor. If somebody's down to shoot it, I'll work like. Like my last video, um, I co-directed it with Michaela uh, Chandler, and she was fire. And so we we co- we co-directed and co-worked it out after I did the storyboard and stuff like that. Um, but I, I love collaboration, so I don't want to do everything myself. But if it if that's what it takes to get it done, then I'm gonna do whatever it needs to get it done, just to get the idea out. You know what I mean? Damn, I need see. I needed this inspiration because sometimes I'm like doing my thing, and I'm like. Man, I just need to pay somebody to do it. I no, let, let me tell you something. This one video, I co-produced the song. I wrote the song, obviously performed the song, mm-hmm. did the story, uh, uh, did the story for the video, co-directed the video, and made the sandwiches for the crew that we took to set. I did it all. I was doing catering, you know what I'm saying? Location scouting, I, like whatever it takes. Like I'm, like I'm about that life. Like I'm, I'm trying to get it done. Like I'll clean up, Janet. Like it don't matter. I don't have no ego when it comes to creating. You know? Listen, this is how you know this man's going to go far because he is so dedicated. Like, a lot of you reminds me of myself, and that's why I fuck with you a lot because, you know, wait, don't leave me hanky. Thank you. We on air. (laughs) 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 Right, right. (laughs) But hold on. All right, what's, the, what, what, what's next? What we got? Because I'm going to do it. We switching it up, y'all. We switching it up. I'm telling you, I'm, <laughs> look, man, let me explain something to y'all. It's, look at me in my eye when I tell you, remember this face right here. Remember this face right here. Because I'm down to do whatever it takes. It's different over here. Oh. I, much respect to whoever. It's nothing but vibes over here. Everything, but everything, including vibes, okay? All right, oh. so what, what's good? Where we at with it? <laughs> so tell me. Can you describe your music? One. Two, describe your filmmaking. That's a wonderful, wonderful uh, prompt. I, my, my music is cinematic hip hop soul, I would say. Um, there's a lot of movie elements, a lot of emotional elements. 
Um, it's going to take you through a journey. It's a lot of colors. I, I create in color. So it, I have a color palette of the song before I even start. Mm -hmm. um, I produce a lot of my joints too, so I can control the, the feel of it, the texture of the song. Um, my music, it ranges from like hella hype to like hella soulful and relaxed. Whatever, whatever the mood is for that time. Um, I pride myself in being, um, I would say, ambidextrous as a as a MC and as a as a music creator. And by that, I mean I can do both uh, both sides. Um, also, shout out to both sides coming out uh, 22 Um Yeah, um, and so my music is definitely there are some there are some records that are like easy listening that you can just kind of just like kind of put in the background and not really pay attention to mm -hmm. but most of it is going to capture your attention mm -hmm. right away and put you in a zone mm -hmm. i have a lot of driving music for the car Ooh. yeah that pch music pch give me the one freeway drop top malibu <laughs> you know what i'm saying no the 90 the 90 freeway that little short little just oh. where you can just hit the gas no nope. it's no traffic ah and so, see, I knew he was gonna do that. See, that we look, we <laughs> we in here. No, like I, I make a lot of, I make a lot of music for like that could take that that feels like a movie. Yeah. The music feels like a movie, so that so that going into my filmmaking, mm -hmm. that's what I want. I want to capture a lot of emotion. You know what I mean? And a lot of my uh, videos, um, I like, I lean more on the story side than I do on the like performance side. And I love to perform. It's actually probably my strongest suit, but when it comes to the visuals and the, and the short films, I want to lean more on the story. So I wanna, I wanna bring people in and tell people a story and give them um, you know, a visual to connect. Give me your turn. <laughs> <laughs> it's my turn to speak. I want you, for one, this man is dope. Do you hear the words that are coming out of his mouth? Whoa, whoa. Thank you. I try. I need you to tell me a little song, song about Mickey Facts. Okay, word, word. And the co that collaboration on the song floats. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go on, boy. Speak about it. Mickey Facts is an incredible MC, top five right now, rapping. He just he's he's crazy. Um, I met him through Lupe Fiasco. Actually, I was at a Lupe shut Fiasco. up. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, I was at a. Uh, was at a Lupe concert and I'm in like you know front row I'm rapping and then um Lupe pulled me on stage and let me watch the rest of the concert from on the stage so I'm I'm like behind the stage and I'm watching it all go down it was crazy and Mickey Fax was right there and so we just kind of like chopped it up for like a hot second and there's so many questions I kind of hate this thing because I want to intrude but I can't because okay, you can intrude I, I, I'm, I can keep I can come back but um um, so fast forward, um, Mickey Fax, we did a collaboration back in uh, a few years ago called Balance with Il Camille. It was me, Mickey Fax, and Il Camille on a track I have called Balance. Um, and then we just became really cool. We like, you know, we just, you know, he hits me whenever he's in LA. Um, we actually brought him out to LA for, for the for the Balance release. Um, yeah, um, he, he just had a cool people. And then also, we're also both in Sosa, which is uh, the Society of Spoken Art. Um, yeah, I'm a journeyman in Sosa, and he, I believe he's, but he's further on, I believe he's either a journeyman or a master, but, um, dang, I gotta check. How do you become a part of this association? Um, well, a couple of years back, they had, like, applications, um, for, like, I think they have North America and applications, and then, um, you just basically have to rap, you have to write something, you have to read this book, it's, it's, it's all-inclusive psychology, semiotics, language, rapping, but it's centered around rap, it's called the Society of Spoken Art, Sosa. And oh. he's also in Sosa, um, him and Lupe, like, kind of created Sosa together and so I got accepted into Sosa and then that just kind of also you know made us kind of cool um, more cool as well and so when I heard the beat for float I was like Fax would just ride this pause he would go crazy on this and so um I was so I hit him up I was like yo got the record he's like send it over boom 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 we did that and it was fire and then he came out here and uh he was doing something out here and so we did a photo shoot for the record and yeah, it's cool, man. Mickey Fax is good people, but not only that, he's just an incredible, incredible MC. Like it leaves me jaw drop, pause any anytime I hear, um, you know, any of his stuff. So yeah. shout out, shout out to you, Mickey, man. You, 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 you a real one. He, and he's also Mickey, he's, my boy. He's also just a good dude, like in general, just like a good man, like a good human being. And anybody that knows him, I would dare I say, would would say the same thing. So yeah.
That's beautiful, Matt. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, I see nothing but positivity, greatness into your future. And listen, this man made it on the red dot. He must be doing that, something right. That's a fact. <laughs> red dot, a, dot marks the spot. Hey, <laughs> come on now. Listen. I mean, I got a red dot. Right? You got a few red dots. I got a couple Flip. Of, you know what I'm saying? That's see the, that? Oh, wait, before before we get into the conclusion, can you see the drip in the shoe? Oh, man, the drip. But I'm trying to match your drip, though. You got nah, the forget drip. my drip. They see my drip. They know my drip. <laughs> this drip, though. Look, man, I have, a, I have a philosophy in life. No matter what you do, look good doing it. And that's just, Don't that I know? Just is what it is. You know what I'm Don't saying? Don't we know it, honey? A lot, right? a lot of human beings I know have eyes. So that being said, you know, I want to be pleasing to the ear with the music, to the eyes to the soul, to the, to, you know what I'm saying? I just want to hit all. All aspects of life. Come on now. We got Justin Sky up in the building. Thank you so much again, my darling, for coming through into the studio and making an appearance here at the Red Dot. Although we're not wanna, at the Red Dot. Y'all for having me because every single person since I walked through this door has been like hella cool and hella like family oriented. And like, I'm like, this energy is like, this is what I need. So thank y'all for having me for real, for real. Like, like for real. Y'all are just, y'all are good people. We need to stay. Yeah, we need. You expected less? You know, listen, <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. It is me. It is I. I do not associate myself with people who no, I do not. F with. That's true. Everybody been this. No, Everybody we associate you know with. I expected? I expected talent because that's when I seen. I was like, oh, they talented. But you know what, though? I should have expected good people because the. I think the person that I seen that you had interviewed was my good friend, my great friend, Ooh. Vanessa Rivera. Oh, Vanessa, my twin. She's actually showing art at the show on Tuesday. Oh, yes. Wait, when is this airing? Let's not discuss that. Okay. Well, <laughs> if it if if this is if this is airing after Tuesday, then that means that my album is out. <laughs> okay. Justinsky.com. High water. The album is bananas. And shout oh, out to you, oh, Vanessa, oh, as well. Oh, wait, wait. Look at his sweater. Before we conclude, wait a minute. He got a whole QR code on his sweater. On Hold on. On the hoodie. Boom. You see that? You see that? I don't know if it's focused. My sorry. My reception is sucky. But but it's there, honey. He ready. He's promo ready. Please drop your Instagram for us before we leave. My Instagram is Justin Sky underscore because I am the foundation. Um, and then, yeah, make sure you hit me up on. <laughs> what? Vibes? It's, al it's always, look, it's always something deeper. It's always a meaning to it. There's meaning behind everything. I mean, you're changing my Instagram. No, nah, <laughs> nah, you, you should. Trust me. Wait, what's your Instagram? At K A A Y A S H A Y. K A A Y. Like double A, like how Snoop Dogg goes S N double O P. I go K A double A Y. A S H A Y A. Okay, okay. Anyways, anyways, we go, we go, we go. Okay, we go. We concluded. Thank you again so much for coming. Thank you for having me. He's amazing. Peace.